An hour's long power outage at the Johor Bahru Land Checkpoint disrupted travel between Malaysia and Singapore on Wednesday, December 6, with long queues at the immigration facility and heavy traffic on the causeway. Power has since been restored. Singapore's Immigration Checkpoints Authority ICA said in an update at 4 p.m. that the tailback of departure traffic from Malaysia at Woodlands Checkpoint has subsided. The power outage began at midnight on Tuesday, according to Singapore Chinese Daily Lian He Zabao. Pictures and videos on social media showed long queues at the departure hall of the Malaysia Checkpoint building. Known as the Bangunan Sultan Iskandar Customs, Immigration and Quarantine Complex BSICIQ. Many travellers were waiting in the dark. According to travellers on social media, the power outage also caused electronic gate e gate facilities to go down. Other videos showed motorcyclists stuck in a jam at about 8.30 a.m. The situation affected traffic at Singapore's Woodlands Checkpoint. With ICA warning travellers of heavy departure traffic due to tailback from Malaysia. Delays are expected and travellers are advised to check traffic conditions before embarking on their journey. ICA said at 11 a.m. Johor Chief Minister on Hafiz Ghazi said in a Facebook post on Wednesday that the incident was extremely distressing to users and an embarrassment to the state. In his post, he attached a photo of a letter from energy company Tanoga Nacional, Behet TNB. Dated November 27, the letter stated that the supply of electricity would be stopped or affected temporarily in several areas, including the CIQ complex and JB Central, from 8 p.m. on Tuesday to 4 a.m. on Wednesday. It is unclear why the outage continued after 4 a.m. According to the Star, citing Johor Immigration Department Director Boharadan Toher, all agencies in the building were inspecting their systems to ensure there were no issues following the disruption. He added that during the blackout, officers at immigration counters had to carry out clearances manually. CNA has asked Malaysia's Immigration Department for comment. When contacted by CNA, Johor Works, Transportation and Infrastructure Executive Committee Chairman Mohamed Fasli Mohamed Salah said that the power disruption had been due to the maintenance work conducted by TNB in a power trip experienced by the power supply generator. We just finished meeting to discuss proposed improvements, still discussing. Can only confirm that e-gates have resumed operations fully, said Mr. Fasli. Separately, State Assemblyman for the Stulang constituency, an area adjacent to the CIQ complex, Andrew Chen said that while maintenance work conducted by TNB is unavoidable, he implored that such works be conducted during the off-peak period so as to avoid inconveniencing the public. For me in the future, if let's say there's any maintenance needed, time allocated should be 12 a.m. to 4 a.m., not from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. It should be during the off-peak period so that we do not disrupt traffic flow, especially for Malaysians going to work, said Mr. Chang. Further, the Democratic Action Party DEP politicians said that backup generators must be on standby mode when maintenance work is carried out in case the power supply is lost. When the maintenance work is done, Power supply must be resumed, so nothing is interrupted. We cannot let this maintenance work disrupt the process of immigration and customs. Said Mr. Chan, who led a state task force between 2018 to 2020 to ease congestion at the causeway. He added, All of us, me, the chief minister and government officials have worked hard to ensure that the congestion issues have been minimised recently. And we hope that incidents like this do not reoccur as it impacts livelihoods. Mr. Anhafis, the Chief Minister, 
has made the efficiency of the Jahar checkpoints a key priority of his state administration. Since he came to power, he has made numerous visits to the Jahar checkpoints, sometimes in the wee hours of the morning. In an interview with CNA earlier this year, the Meghap State Assemblyman stressed that the efficiency level of immigration facilities on the Malaysian side of the causeway must be raised to 100% in order to alleviate congestion at the land border. In 2018, a power disruption caused by a faulty city main entrance substation in Jahal Baru led to an outage in the city centre and its surrounding areas on September 6 for close to seven hours. Back then, the outage affected several places, including the Sultan Iskandar building that houses the CIQ complex, the Comta building as well as JB Central. However, media reports back then stated that the CIQ complex and most commercial buildings experienced only a temporary disruption before continuing to operate on backup generators. Separately, a four-hour power outage at Woodlands Checkpoint in Singapore in October last year led to some drivers to be redirected to the second link. The power outage, according to Singapore's ICA, was the result of a failed backup power generator while scheduled maintenance of the power source at Woodlands Checkpoint was taking place.